Holy, it's so sweet. No, it's coffee, but it's quite watered down. What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week, I am going to be going to all the drive through fast food restaurants to get and try their iced coffee. I'm doing this because it's like for someone who really likes to go to Starbucks a lot for coffee or like I just don't like to make my own coffee at home. And also knowing that a lot of people don't make coffee at home, um, getting like Starbucks or like Pete's coffee, you know, like the bigger coffee chains can be a little expensive. I'm going to try out the ones that are like $3 max or like three something max. Anyways, the first place I'm actually gonna go to is In-N-Out. Also because I kinda want a burger, I just came from dance class, so I am starving. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, can I get a cheeseburger protein style? Would you like uh, onions on it? Yes, please. Yeah, light light on uh, sauce, please. Light on the sauce, right on. Yes, and then can I also get, do you have iced coffee? Oh uh, yeah, we, we have iced coffee. Yeah, can I get one too? Mm -hmm. And then that would be all. I knew once again you guys were gonna fall, so. I really have to figure out a better way to put you guys. Honestly, I'm glad I decided to order a burger because this is a really long line for just coffee. So I just got my stuff. I will be eating this in the car. Even though the burger's not part of the video, I am very hungry, but let's try the coffee, which I think they gave me an iced tea by accident because this does not look like coffee. Yeah, this is tea. I'm not going back in line for a nice coffee because that line took a long time. So we'll deal with it, I guess. I'll attempt again tomorrow for in and out I guess, because I'm technically spreading this video into two days. Also, because I can't have like seven to eight coffees in a day. I am probably gonna die of like caffeine poisoning. But iced tea wise, it's just tea with ice. And I have a feeling their coffee is probably black coffee and ice, but that's totally okay. Not gonna lie, it's a little disappointing being the very first item on our menu, having tea instead of coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna go to the next place, which is gonna be Krispy Kreme. I might get a donut, because I kind of want a donut. Anyways, In-N-Out is going to come back up later on in the video, because this is such a big fail to begin with. It's, this is really sad. Oh my gosh, guys, you know what I just noticed? So the car to my left is also eating a In-N-Out burger. And the car to my right is also eating an In-N-Out burger. It's so funny how everyone goes to the drive-thru and then just like parks in the parking lot to eat. Next stop is Krispy Kreme. Can I get one original glazed donut and then an iced coffee, please? Uh, no sugar, please. I have to cut on sugar, so I'm gonna do it this way. Okay, now that I actually got my coffee, this is Krispy Kreme coffee. Of course, I also had to get me a donut. I love donuts. But um, anyways, when I ordered the coffee, I said iced coffee and they basically asked with sugar and cream and I said no sugar because I'm basically trying to cut off sugar. Like not really cut off sugar, but like cut down on sugar. They also have an option for whipped cream, apparently. I'll say their iced coffee is um, very coffee. I think it's not a bad choice if you want like really cheap coffee. I think this is probably like $2 or like a dollar something. Because I think a donut's like 3 or $4 and my total is like $6. So it's a really good, this one's a small, so it's a really good option. I'll say this coffee is a pass. Actually, I just thought of something. So Krispy Kreme has the original glazed iced coffee. And basically it's described as the coffee has a taste of the original glazed donut. We're gonna make that happen with these two. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think Krispy Kreme should make an original glazed coffee donut. Okay guys, we're gonna go to Jack in the Box now. And honestly, I am quite excited for this one because they have iced coffee with boba. So this is actually going to be the first time I'm trying boba from a fast food restaurant. Hi, can I get a small iced coffee with boba? And that would be all. That's it? Yes. Okay, 455 by the window. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I will say Jack in the Box iced coffee with boba is not cheap. So I didn't know it was $4 and something. Oh, fudge. Jack in the Box coffee with boba is not cheap. It's $4.55. So compare it to like Krispy Kreme and In-N-Out is like $1.35. $4.55 is kind of expensive, but I get it because there's like boba in there. And their straw is like not sharp and it's not like, uh-oh. Oh my gosh. I can't get the straw to go through. Straw-wise, they really need to get the ones that are point like pointy-ended. But let's have a taste of their coffee with boba. 
You know what? Their boba? Their boba's pretty good. I'm surprised. Their boba's actually really good. Like it's milk tea shop quality boba. There's sugar in here, that's for sure. Cause first of all, like even if there was no sugar in the coffee, there's already sugar in the boba, but it's not too sweet. $4.55, is it worth it? I wanna say yes. If you want like boba in your coffee or like in your milk tea, this is actually a really, really good price. Anyways, last place for today is going to probably be Burger King. Yes, Burger King on my list. And then tomorrow we're gonna go move on to the rest of the places. Hi, can I get a small iced coffee? Vanilla or mocha? Um, just plain. We don't have plain. Okay, then vanilla is fine. Wow, they don't have small plain iced coffee. That's interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Whoop. Whoop, there you go. Once again, welcome back from the fall. I like dropped you guys for like the fourth time today. Okay, so this is my small vanilla coffee. Predict it's gonna be too sweet. I was right. This is way too sweet. Personally, I would not come back to Burger King for coffee. I have to say, I am so glad I am done, at least for today, but definitely I will be going to more places tomorrow. Hi, I'm taking over. You're wondering Welcome why it's my face. Jr. Would you like to try our new ghost burger? No. They have a ghost burger? Hi, what can I make fresh for you today? Iced coffee. I'm talking to a robot. 369, thank you. Please pull forward. I like totally forgot that Carlos Jr. is like AI. <laughs> AI, yeah. Didn't we talk about it last time we were ordering cookies? Yeah. Yeah, so I forgot to mention my sister is here today to help me with the coffee thing because I am very like, I'm very not feeling great because I didn't sleep well last night, which is the reason why my eyes are like half open. So I'm trying really hard to stay awake. First stop today, by the way, is Carl's Jr. I like the boba one from yesterday, okay. but it was a kind of sweet. And then there was yeah. a bitter one. I don't know what that was. That one was good. The bitter one was... Where did I go yesterday? I don't know, I just saw Krispy Kreme? We have, let's get McDonald's and then we'll do both at the same time. Hi, can I just get one sm small iced coffee? $2.39. This is what I call cheap coffee. Why do I always um, mess up when I'm like talking to a drive through burger? That's me. It's like, can I get a smile? <laughs> iced coffee. Sometimes I do that too. And then when they ask me a question like that, I like freeze. Anyway, because I was thinking since the line looks so long, I'm going to actually try the Carl's Jr. coffee now. So this is Carl's Jr. cold brew for $3 something. Wow, it is Arabica coffee, 100%. Please hold on. Uh oh, now it's tracking me. You can kind of tell when the beans are Arabica. I don't really like Arabica. You don't? It tastes like the one that, uh, that you have in packets. Okay, look at the number that we got. It's 1314. If you're Chinese, you'll know what it means. Okay, so this is plain iced coffee from McDonald's. Exactly what I was expecting for every single iced coffee that I've been getting. But like, I feel like half the place that I order iced coffee from is black coffee. Holy, it's so sweet. <laughs> It's so sweet. Oh my god. Yeah, wait, it really looks... Wait, is this caramel? No, I said plain. It's sugar. This is not plain. It's not plain coffee. Look at the color. Oh you know my. what tastes good? What? I think um, cappuccino. I tried it before. It's like not good cappuccino, but it tasted pretty good because it tastes like milk. But we're talking about just if you order iced coffee. This is not, so. this is not iced coffee. Yeah, so... Iced coffee at McDonald's has milk and sugar. If you have a preference for sweeter coffee, like just iced coffee, then... No, don't even drink this. This is like way too much sugar. This is not healthy at all. Anyways, now we're gonna try to attempt to go back to In-N-Out again. Dude, this is heck awkward. Yesterday I ordered a burger. Today <laughs> I'm just ordering an iced coffee. Hi, can I just get an iced coffee? Yeah, of course. Iced coffee. Yeah, and that would be all. And then... Did you want cream or sugar on the side by any chance? Uh, on the side, yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, vanilla oat milk or just a regular creamer? Uh, regular is fine. Okay. How many would you like? Uh, just one. Just one. You got it. Yeah. Here's the iced coffee with cream on the side. It's gonna be two fifty eight in the first window, please. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, so In and Out is two fifty eight. I don't know why because it says on the thing is a dollar thirty five, but I guess because it's because. You got the milk. Oh. Let's wait for the coffee. It's gonna be a while. Ooh, it's half and half. 
So this is in and out finally with the iced coffee, not iced tea. And I was given three creamers, but why does it look so light in color? I don't know if you can see. Imagine it's an iced tea. No, it's coffee, but it's quite watered down. <laughs> Taste it. It's so watered down. Yeah, it almost tastes like water. Yeah. This is really nice, like with the option, but the coffee itself for the value is very not coffee-like. And I'm gonna pour all of it in there. It's half and half. The creamer made no difference, guys. <laughs> no difference. No, no. Honestly, it just took away more of the coffee flavor as if there's now no coffee flavor. Like there was a smidge at first. Now it tastes like watered down milk. Tastes like like nothing right if you're like craving water but with a hint of coffee taste then this is it but if you're craving coffee then don't get this we're gonna move on to the last place and i'm so excited to stop drinking coffee after this because honestly i'm not feeling great yeah so let's go to wendy's i think since we've been ordering just as iced coffee we're just gonna say we want a small iced coffee and see what happens and see if they're gonna ask if you want it plain or if you want like what flavor um, but if anything we're gonna get the regular cold brew also just because then we can compare it to the Carl's Jr. cold brew yes can I help you hi can I just get a small iced coffee what kind plain a plain which one the cold brew no flavor yeah yeah 285 thank you thank you all right so we got the coffee it looks dark it kind of looks similar color to the carl's jr one so now it's just for today it's gonna be a battle between wendy's and carl's jr i actually want to compare it like side by side right now i feel like this one's still darker but then again this one's a bigger cup nico shouldn't be i can't really tell they're both pretty good for this one's like, better i like this really one i like it more bitter but less Sour? Sour. I can't tell if I like the Wendy's one or the Carl's Jr. one, but it's true. Carl's Jr. is a little more like on the sour side. So if you're more into like the sourness, then Carl's Jr. is a good choice. Otherwise, Wendy's is also a really good choice for a regular black coffee. I'm finally done with all of this coffee, but it's not really over for me until I finish or at least try to finish most of this. I most likely will not be able to sleep again tonight. Um, so tomorrow's gonna be a pretty bad day. So there you go. That's all the iced coffees that I'm able to try for this video that are cheaper priced. So there's plenty to choose from depending on your liking. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I won't be doing this video again because I really don't want like four coffees in a day anymore for a very long time. I still might do something of similar like at some point. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Bye!